Welcome to Lex's world. So both people new to cannabis and long-term users might wonder whether short-term memory can be permanently damaged by cannabis use. First, my quick answer before we dive into the science, if you're an occasional or moderate marijuana smoker, you have zip to worry about in this department. There's no way you're going to damage your short-term memory by any measurable amount with weed. For you heavy users, the answer is you might be able to do a small amount of permanent damage to your short-term memory if you smoke enough, meaning daily for years at a time. How did I come up with that answer? Well, we do have some half-decent research on it. If you've ever watched my episode on cannabis potency over the years, then you already know that weed has gotten quite a bit more potent and has changed fundamentally over the last four decades. So any study like this has to be relatively recent. Fortunately, we do have the research from the University of Lausanne in Switzerland, where as recently as 2016, a team of researchers examined data on the marijuana habits of nearly 3,400 Americans over a 25-year period. At the end of the study period, the subjects took a battery of tests designed to assess cognitive abilities memory, focus, ability to make quick decisions, stuff like that. The short-term memory test was very simple. Subjects were given 15 words and they had to recall them 25 minutes later. The results? People who didn't smoke pot or smoked it occasionally could remember 9 out of 15 words. People who smoked every single day for 5 years straight or more they could remember 8.5 words out of every 15. That's not a huge difference, and that was the difference amongst the heaviest users. Now, this study had a couple weaknesses. It was a correlational study, so they didn't actually prove causation here. Their only redeemable quality is that they had a big study with a decent sample size. And we also do not know if the heavy cannabis users had to be sober for at least 30 days prior to the tests and how that would have been enforced. I know for a fact that if they didn't take a break prior to the test, a month-long break, it would have impacted the testing for sure. It's also worth noting that marijuana users did totally fine on all the other cognitive tests in this study compared to non-users. It appears we didn't impact them on those. It was just a short-term memory test that was a bit off. But, anecdotally, from my perspective, I do think this study is reasonably accurate. It demonstrates that, by and large, cannabis is safe, especially in reasonable amounts, and that if you do get a little bit unreasonable, like every single day for five years, well, it might punish you for being a bit greedy. But, it's also not like you're going to turn into a goldfish when it comes to memory. So don't worry too much. That's the show for the day. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. See you next time.